How's it going, chicks and mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we are back with Root. The Root. The game Root. Um, now, we've got one more faction to do here. The Lone Wanderer, which sounds interesting. Playing by myself. Sounds like my kind of thing. Um, before we do start that, though, I, I kind of looked at the musicians and stuff. And now the left guy and the right guy, they kind of seem quite normal. But like they just kind of blink a bit and then concentrate on their instruments and all that. Like, that, that's not so bad. But then, look at the middle guy. Like, he, he's angry, and then he then he has an orgasm. And then he's angry again. So, like, is there something wrong with the Lone Wanderer? Do you think, like, he has some kind of, um... Uh, it's not bipolar. I don't know what it is. Mood swings? I guess it'd be mood swings. Just kind of concerned about it. I just think, I don't know, like, maybe we would need to get a Woodland Psychiatric Ward. But you know what? I'm not here to worry about that. I'm here to um play some play some root. Admittedly, I'm risking missing my Japanese class because I'm a bit short on time, but I think I can make 20 minutes work. Okay, the wily vagabond wishes to gain fame or infamy. In the midst of this brewing conflict, he scores by completing quests for the creatures of the woodland and by aiding and harming the. Oh, okay, so now this is RuneScape. Okay, cool. I like RuneScape. All right, cool. So you do all that. So. Wow, this is much more complex. Uh, okay, your vagabond character is represented by a single pawn that can move and fight like a warrior and begins the game in a forest. By uh, being early risers, a uh, vagabond may slip between forests and clearing eat bird song. Sorry, that was a, such a weird sentence there. B being early risers, vagabond may slip between forests. Do you mean vagabonds? I, I guess he's on his own, but. And clearings each bird song. I don't, I don't know. Sorry, that, that sentence kind of scared me there. Like my throat closed up. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Let's slip into a clearing. All right, cool. Yes. All right. These are your actions. All right, well, I know that by now. Your available actions are mostly determined by the items you, you hold in your satchel. When an item is used to perform an action, it is exhausted. You can't take that action again until the item is refreshed in bird song. Right, okay. Ruins are scattered across the map that hold new items for a vagabond. Explore the ruins in your space using your torch. Okay. Good for me. So, alright, so if I go through these ruins, then I get to increase my score. Explore gains you one and a hammer that can be used to craft cards from your hand. Move into the mouse clone to write to craft a card. Okay, well that sounds... <laughs> It sounds simple enough, but this actually seems like the most complex so far. But then at least we're not having any birds like being like, no mate, you, you, the government's all wrong, we're gonna, we're gonna take away your points now. Each hammer you have co exhaust contributes one toward crafting cards, with a cost matching the suit of your clearing. Okay, so that's fine, that does that. Craft, mouse in a sack. Okay. Sorry, so I've got the cards in my hand. Okay, and it goes in my little bag. Okay, and then... Right, okay. The number of items you can hold is limited by the six slots in your satchel. Each satchel you acquire increases the amount of standard items you can store. Alright, we'll just go with that. Those items don't take up room in your satchel and provide their effect automatically. Most of your items are exhausted, so let's end daylight and... Okay, if you say so, I mean... So, if I get attacked and die... Does that mean I die for good and lose? I mean, I'm kind of concerned about that, because there's only one of me, and there's like, well, a civilization of them. It's just a bit concerning, really. Okay, so they're all getting everything they need, and obviously you've got the rebels now. Uh, no birds yet, though. No bird government. I want to see who's going to have to suffer. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, no, that's fine. That's the... So, okay, so I know the sympathy, guys. During Birdsong, you refresh three items. This makes their actions available again. What is Birdsong? Ah, I see the Woodland Alliance has a crossbow for trade slip. Oh, okay, there's a full stop there. Slip into the forest above you to head their way. Sorry, you should have put a capital letter for your slip. All right, forest. Cool. I don't know why, like, other people can't do this. The forest just seems like a nice place to hide, if I'm honest. Okay, so move... So I can use sympathy for some reason. Is that gonna help? 
You can give a card matching your clearing suit to another player in your clearing to improve your relationship with them. Right. Well, I'm going to give it to the mouse people. There you go. Hope that helps. You must also exhaust an item of your choice to aid. Exhaust your satchel. Okay. If the player you aid has crafted any items, they will give you one in return. Do they have to? What if they don't have any? I mean, I guess this is helpful for them because then they get cards and they can do stuff. Alright, well, I love you too, furry boy. Uh, thank you for the aid, friend. Be careful with that crossbow we gave you. Yeah, I'll try not to shoot you. Exhausted items always take up room in your satchel and won't provide the effect until you refresh them. Okay, and then I've got this kind of stuff here. So how do I use it? Or does it just happen in combat? Oh, oh I got a little bit here. Fine. The crossbow can be used to remove warriors without needing to battle. You can even use crossbow to remove a building or token, as long as this owner doesn't have a warrior there. Okay, well, I'll just get you then. Alright, now I'm going to be a dick, I guess. And guard, that wily vagabond is no friend of the Marquis. And that's what you get. You didn't do anything to me. I mean, you guys seem pretty decent, but I just want to... I want to ruin your day, really. Oops, I probably should have mentioned that killing enemy warriors will make them hostile with you for the rest for the rest of the game. Such is the life of a va So what if I accidentally shoot one of the mice? <laughs> just got to be careful why I shoot, I guess. I feel like I'm going to shoot one by accident. Once an enemy is hostile, your infamy scores you an extra one each time you remove one of their pieces. In fact. Okay, so actually killing them is going to probably do some damage. However, you must exhaust an additional boo to move into spaces with hostile, action hostile warriors. Fine. Use your sword to battle their weakened army. Okay. Can they not just attack me? I mean, it makes more quests, but it makes more sense, but I am a quester. God, I literally just cannot speak this Let's Play. <laughs> I don't know why. I think, I, I think I'm just overwhelmed. I'm actually overwhelmed by this one. Form actions using items. Well, that makes sense. Thanks for making it simple again, game. <laughs> Okay, so now they're going to do all their stuff. Alright, so... Sh yeah, obviously it's out... Yeah, so that's their stuff, but... Do I have to worry? Can they actually attack me? I'm just surprised, like... Because I'm actually killing their warriors now. Yes, they can attack me. So now... This doesn't seem like a fair... You're telling me. So, uh... When you take hits in battle, you must damage that many items. You can choose exhausted or unexhausted. So, I'll get rid of this stuff. Uh, yes. Continue. Alright, so I have, an, I have an actual health bar, unlike these guys. Oh dear. Well, at least I got rid of one of them. I've got quite a powerful unit here. This badger, whatever he's meant to be. I mean, we call him Thief, but that's not the name of the animal. Okay, well now I'm kind of hurt, but at least I've still got my four points. Not sure how many I need, but we're just going to stick with it for now. Okay, so how do I repair my stuff then? Uh, choose item to refresh. A uh, crossbow and a sword and, and and boots, I guess. Many of our items were damaged in your last battle and are useless until we repair them. If you say so, slipping into the forest lets you repair all your items during evening and will protect from being attacked on enemy. Oh, okay, so we can just kind of hide and not get hurt at all. That sounds nice. So if you actually take in a forest, press continue to move on to evening. And then I can... Okay, cool. That actually makes sense then. So I can actually do potentially a lot of damage. Everyone's going to need to try and be my friend. Else, you know, I'm going to hurt them. Whoever's going to be the vagabond in these games is just going to be the ultimate dick. <laughs> I, can I can just see that now. I mean, I guess that would be fun. Oh no, outrage. Okay, fine. So I need to kill more kitty cats, which um, normally isn't a good thing. But, well, we're playing a game about war in the forest. So, yeah, and, the, you know, we're not really, they're not really thinking about the environment, are they? They don't really deserve my sympathy, do they? Those asses. Okay, cool trail. I don't know what's going on. We're just going for this. I'm, I'm sure this must be an option to, like, skip stuff. I just don't want to do that right now. Cool, so they're doing their thing. They're also beating me. What do I do about that? Should I just like start killing the enemy there? But then I won't get any stuff from them. Now take your item. Now that your items are in tip-top shape, you should be ready to take on a quest. 
Okay, oh, the moth is back. Go away! I don't want you in my life! God, he wants my used McDonald's. Damn it, I nearly got him and then he just betrayed me. Sorry, I am in a working class apartment, so you, you can expect this. Okay, cool. Well, so I can go to a quest. Let's see what this is all about, shall we? So, select your quest action to see what you'll need to fend off the bear. You have what it takes to fend off the bear. Uh, to complete a quest, you need to be in the clearing matching its suit and exhaust the items. Okay, well, I have all of that, apparently. Pick your reward. Victory. I just I want to win this. I, want, I, I have a Japanese class in, like, half an hour. Which, you know, should be plenty of time, but, you know. So, I get to draw a new one. I can review three quests. Okay, and that's probably a good way of getting stuff up. Reach the next relationship level with the Woodland Alliance by aiding them twice in one turn. Okay. To prove your relationship to the second and third levels, you must aid two and three times respectively in a single turn. Other players don't have to have items for trade to aid them, but you do have to give them a card. Yeah, that makes sense. You tell me you reach a relationship with you get more VP. Yeah, so what if, like, well, they're winning right now, and I'm their main competitor, so why should I aid them? Okay, aid. Choose a player to aid. Uh, how do I do that exactly? Oh, okay, uh, this one. Uh, choose a card. This one. Uh, choose an item to exhaust. My bag, I guess. Choose an item to take. Uh, my bag, I guess. <laughs> uh, I just exchanged bags, that's what felt like happened. Cool, so now we're friendlier. Can I, can I do that again, or do I move, or... Your effort is appreciated. Aid us again and show you are a true comrade of the Alliance. Alright, cool. Maybe I should just sell my soul to you and become a rebel then. Don't know why I don't just, just do that. Uh, you. Uh, you. No, you. Uh, and I'll give you my ba Uh, wait, what did you have before? I'll give you my boots, actually. And I get my boots. Thank you. Cool. And, yeah, they're all good. Now they're going to have all the power they need to destroy the kitty cats. Explore another ruin, complete another quest, and score 15 to complete the stuff. Okay, so this actually didn't seem so bad. Um, I guess it is slightly more complex, but it's just a matter of just doing quests and randomly killing people. So very much like RuneScape, except I'm a badger. I already made that joke, but I wanted to emphasize. I could have said it's like World of Warcraft, but I haven't played World of Warcraft, like, ever. So, okay. Right, can I explore the ruin here? Uh, unfortunately, the option isn't available. Uh, maybe I can attempt to remove enemy pieces in your clearing using swords. Alright, well I'm going to just try and attack this cat then. Alright, cool. And then I just used some items and I got repair, but I'll do that later. Oh no, it's a draw. Uh, fine, I'll get rid of my, my, uh, my uh, bag. I don't think I need to carry anything. It's not even made of crocodile skin. I only say that because those are the proper handbags. I'm not supporting killing crocodiles because they're nice creatures in Zoo Tycoon, not in real life. Uh, perform actions using items. Yeah, so what should I do? Should I go in the clearing? No, I'll craft a card. Yes, this one. Each thing you have increases the amount of items you can refresh during birdsong. You still have, I don't know what birdsong is. You just kind of... Okay, cool. All right, so I've got some kettles now. Is Birdsong meant to be when I repair stuff? I don't know anymore. Okay, right. Well, I don't want to move because I want to be able to go into this ruin. And I don't know why I'm not able to. So, your satchel is overcrowded. Choose an item to discard. Uh, this. Uh, no, actually this one because I can't use it. Oh, I need to do two. Uh, uh, this one. Okay, good for me. So, I'm, I'm definitely ahead of the game. But I still need to explore Ruin and do a quest. Okay, so the enemy's building. Oh, Jesus. I keep attacking my microphone as well. Like, <laughs> I've gone from a great Let's Player to an okay Let's Player. I, th this game has transformed me. I wonder how entertaining I am doing this. But I, I, I definitely enjoy this game. I think the, the thing I really like, I like the different factions and how they actually are like relevant on a societal level. Like, you've got the rebels, you've got the, the adventurer that kind of is in their own world and does their own thing. You've got the societal people, you've got the builders. Like, I don't know, it's a really nice economy and it's like a, a nice parallel to real... Why can't I do the ruins? No, I don't want to slip to I want to stay where I am. I want to... The ruins. 
Ruins! No, skip! Give me those ruins! Perfect! I get a sword. I love a good sword. Alright, so that's that bit. Now I need to do a quest. Uh, okay, so what do I actually have on me? Give a speech. That sounds like a fun quest. I've got kettles, I could use that, and I've, I think I've got a torch, but I need to be in a fox area. So can I move now? What, what are we near? Is there any fox areas? There are... Well, there's none nearby. Alright, what, what other quests are there? There's a bunny area. Can I go to a bunny area? Uh, yes! Okay, good. So we go to the bunny area. Can I do the quest? No? Okay, I need a sword and I need a torch. I have two swords. I have a torch, but... Okay, so I guess I need to repair the torch. So in other words, I really shouldn't have moved there. I guess I could aid my friend. Here you go, friend. Have a card. And I'll give you a, a sword, I guess. And I'll take, take the boot. Why not? I mean, I, I guess I'm doing the right thing here. I guess I'll get my points up at the very least. Form actions using... I, I don't know what else to do. I, I'm not battling my friend. And I'm not eliminating. I can move again, I guess. I can't really go in the forest, though. Alright, what, what if I go in here? Does that mean I can do a fox quest? Fox quest. But, I mean, it's not letting me. I'm just going to end my... Uh, I, I can't really assassinate the enemy, so I guess I'm just going to end my turn. I hope that was a smart move. It probably wasn't, but there you go. Okay, so the enemy's clearly getting stronger. Uh, that's alright. I'm now going to see them build up their society. And what do I have? I have, um... Well, I have... <laughs> I have a sword! I have a goddamn sword! That's exactly what I need. Okay, cool. Well, whatever. Uh, okay, so they got their mouse supporter. Alright, so can I do my quest? No. Uh, well, I can collect some runes, but I don't want to do that. So why can't I do my quest? Because, like... I've got the items, I think. Maybe they're just not... Pumped up enough yet. Uh, perform action... Well, I can't repair it. Why can't I do a quest? Let me quest. Let me quest the fuck out. All right, I think I made a terrible mistake here. All right, I'm gonna try and go back to the bunny area, I guess. Oh, I can. Okay, now I can do it. Why couldn't I do that before? Okay, cool. I'm gonna just gain victory points. So I want to win. All right, that does that. And then uh, I don't know what's next. Uh, I don't want to attack. Oh, but I could go... Oh, I can't go over there. Okay, and I can't really spread aid either. So I guess I'm just going to move around a bit until I get there. Eventually, eventually I should be I should be okay. Okay, continue to the evening. Fine. Got that for some reason. Alright, well, again, like, it's an interesting game. Like, seeing all these people together is going to be fun. Um, maybe I could just join a... a a forum or something. A Reddit post that allows you to join people. I don't know. Like, like, I don't know. I really wouldn't mind doing something online. I hope my computer will be able to take it because lately it just seems like, you know, it doesn't want to work. I had that thing with Monster Sweethearts. And I'm wondering if my camera's okay. Hopefully it is. Oh, God. Wow, that's a lot of rebels. Jesus. All right. It was a good thing they're on my side because they're just going everywhere right now. No, I need to, I need to kill those guys. Don't do that, man. Okay, I'm going to slip to, uh, uh, here, because I think I can do stuff there. And then use my crossbow and a attack. So, like, hold on, if I aid, do I get points? I'll try and aid these guys, give them a birdie birdie, and I'll use up my, my boot. Cool, did that get me anything? Not really, okay, cool. So, if I... Oh, wait, I can do a quest. Whoa, let me do a quest. I'll give a speech. Get points. 
I I'm so close, and yeah, I know I'm gonna n need another turn, aren't I? Okay, well, that's always good. Oh, wait, I can do another quest. I'll do this one. And I'll get... Yes! There we go! We won! Because we're, we're so good at questing. Man, I wish real life was like this. Just keep doing quests and then you rule the world. But I guess that's how it goes. Oh, I eliminated my ally as well. <laughs> that's good. That's great, even. I do like betraying my allies and just leaving them for dead. Alright, cool. The tutorial is complete. Put your knowledge to the test in challenge mode. Nah, I'm alright. Although I didn't know there was a solo version of this game, so I could do that later on. Maybe. Um, but yeah, that was Root. I've got to say, based on the tutorial anyway, that was a pretty fun game. Like, a lot of stuff to get into. A lot of, like, it's kind of like a, you know, your board game kind of thing. Um, and I like that. We need more board games out there in the world. Like, that, that has a very potential, um, potential market to appeal to. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get back to this. Uh, I think I wouldn't mind one day, but I think it'd be more a collab thing if I ever found friends. Like, I couldn't see myself soloing this, because I tried soloing Age of Empires 2 a long time ago, and well, that was kind of boring, so... But, if you guys watched this and thought, hey, I want to buy the game, then I feel like I've done my job, because I actually really wanted to promote this game, because I thought it looked really cool, and I think there should be more games like this out there. But yeah, if you do want to play the game, and I highly recommend you get it, because it is that good, it's only a tenner, um ish i don't know what's like in america but in the uk it's a tenor there will be a link to the game in the description down below and without further ado the book's scrubby channel till next time see ya